Hello. Welcome to America's Got Talent. What's your name? I'm Cody. Hi, Cody. I'm Cody. What are you going to do here for us today? I'm going to sing a song for you on the piano. I love it. Places in my life and time. I sung a lot of songs and I made some bad rhymes. I've acted on my life in stages, 10,000 people watching. Yeah, we're alone now. I'm singing this song to you. I love you in a place where oh, there's no space or time. I love you from my life. You're a friend of mine. But when my life is over, just want to give your kids the moon, the stars, and the rainbows. And tonight, I'm gonna give you something special. Climb every mountain, and swim every ocean, just to be with you, and fix what I Cause I need you to see. Tell us about yourself. Uh, I go to school out in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do they also go to school in Phoenix, Arizona? I think Arizona? they go to my same school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do here for us tonight? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to perform a song I wrote for you guys. Oh, an original, original yeah, song? Yeah, an original song, yes. Moments come and go Take your shot or you'll never know Your heart will tell you when it's time to move Ask yourself what you got to lose When it storms, when it rains It falls on all of us the same But after today The world's gonna know my name Everybody backstage, please don't be scared. Cause up close, Simon looks just like a teddy bear. A couple steps up off the stage, watch how far that I go. And I'ma feed my fam with this, and that's no bullshit, Chicago. Backtrack, put the competition in my backpack. I'm trying to be incredible, like my birth name was Jack Jack. And now I'm standing on this stage here at AGT. Dreams do come true, and you can take it from me. Just one man who has drive, determination in my eyes. If they don't say that I work hard for this, trust me, they lie. Make the crowd say, oh, yeah, knock it out like daylight. I'm all about pushing the limits, not about pushing papers. Do you feel me? America, can you hear me? This young man's out here chasing dreams. I hope you see that clearly. My entire future, man, I put it on the line. Hey, so I gotta make it now before I'm out of time. In life, moments come and go. Take a shot or you'll never know. Your heart will tell you when it's time to move. Ask yourself what you got to lose. When it storms, when it rains, it falls on all of us the same. But after today, the world's gonna know my name.
from the moment you walked out, your smile is electric, Thank you know? You. And you walked out with such exuberance and such, and, and that's what life is, you know? Life is a series of moments. People at home are talking about this moment. People in this room are talking about this moment. People no! just want this moment to happen. Now you said you want to leave a footprint. Well, I'm going to give you the footprint you need to leave. get into playing violin? Um, I wanted to start playing the violin because I was being bullied in school. Aww. Oh man. It's because I had cancer. I almost died. Before I start, how are you feeling now? I'm feeling really proud of myself. Oh. And if you don't mind me asking, Tyler, how is your health now? Well, I've been in remission for almost four years. You know what? You are an extraordinary young man. We hear too many stories about people being bullied, but I can tell you one thing, most people are bullied because they're better than the people who bully them. You know that. And I think you have such an amazing talent, such a personality, and I would like to say something on your behalf to the bullies. director of this wonderful youth group for um, a little over 21 years. Oh, wow. And uh, we're here to let the world know that we have some wonderful young people in the city of Detroit. And yes.
So sorry to interrupt you, Holly, but I have to tell you, Aww. every young man and woman on the stage represents me and where I came from. I remember sitting out my window in Flint, Michigan, dreaming and wanting to make it and wanting to be here. And they're here. And they did so well that I have to do this. All it takes is one person to believe in a young man or woman for them to reach their dreams. And you are that man, sir. a star and make it to Broadway. <laughs> Who's your favorite judge? <laughs> <laughs> I would pick Julianne because I've been. Oh, come on. <laughs> Somebody jealous? It was an accident. Hater. We didn't mean it. <laughs> Tell us why you love her. Because um, me and my sister have been following you and your brothers dancing for a very long time. Oh, that's amazing. She is a messy, but she's calm. She is lonely most of the time. She's all of this mixed up and baked in a beautiful. She is gone, but she used to be mine. You're not what I asked for. If I'm honest, I know I would give it all back for a chance to start over and be right in a day or two for that. I just 
have to say, I'm extremely flattered that you would even look up to my brother and I with a voice like that, with an energy like that, Thank because... You. Oh, honey, you have such talent and grace. You have something so special. You have an essence inside of you that has given you a gift. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I believe that not only are you going to become a star and get your dream to come true, but I don't think you need to wait that much longer because... When you're broken on the ground, you will be found. Golden Moses Going to be doing an original again for this round? Yes. Best of luck. Thank you so much. Okay, so. Don't talk to me. I need to be by myself. I keep myself company. And I don't need nobody else. Everything makes me so angry. Sometimes I can't even breathe. And I don't have nobody else that can keep me company. I hear them talking about how my back if they are trying to be quiet try a bit harder than that They probably do it on purpose talk as loud as they can so my ears can hear them even if I cover them with my hands Oh man some shocking news you calling people wimpy dumb and a loser too leave them alone You have no idea what they could be going through maybe different to you But they are humans too might not have found their safe place yet Maybe searching around on the internet no luck though all they see is perfect images of perfect people Perfectly posing in front of their perfect house with their perfect Perfect family, what's that about? Nothing more than a picture on their phone. Someone else's beauty doesn't take away from your own. Most of the time I'm away from reality. Being able to write songs might be my only safety. And I know it really saved me. And I know it really saved me. When the world was crumbling around me. Everybody's falling, but I am flying. Makes me feel like I'm superhuman. I might just be that. Cause misfits have some powers that are really pretty rad. <laughs> what was the last line that ended with pretty rad? Misfits have some powers that are really pretty rad. I loved it. And I think I'd know you from that one song. That's incredible. To stand up there with just a guitar, I mean, that takes incredible cojones. <laughs> I don't think there's maybe a more important issue now that social media is this thing that's pervasive everywhere we look, young people, not understanding that that isn't that big a deal when you look back on your life. And you have schooled so many people in this moment. And, and, and I think I'm doing it. You had a great first audition. Our decisions really are based on who we think the audience would like to put through and hopefully fulfill your dreams. So the best of luck to every one of you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.
baby. Put your hand on my heart. Put your... My, my oh heart, my, my heart is beating at a rapid pace that I haven't felt before. I'm an NBA All-Star. As a former athlete, right, it's 30 of you guys on that stage. 29. 29. Wow. Let's round 30 sound better. I know the practice time it takes. I know the sacrifice it takes. I had this saying that whenever I hit a big shot, whenever I hit a game winner, whenever it was one of those moments, I jumped up on the stand and I said, this is my house. Woo! And today, on this stage, this is y'all house. you you guys were absolutely amazing hi thank you so give us your age range of your group uh, the youngest of us is 11 and the oldest is 13 oh and tell us where you're from uh, we are from Ukraine ah. can you explain a little bit of what you guys uh, do um, we are a dance group but it's not just dancing it's also lights, programming, uh, coding. Um, there's a lot that goes into this to make a uh, whole good performance. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh my God. here I'm just a guest I thought this was the definition of a spectacle it was truly spectacular it was marvelous but there are only seven acts that can go forward and I just wish there were some guarantee to get you guys through to the live show if only there were one surefire way we could get you there oh wait there is Tell us who you are again, please, and where you're from. Um, Iman, from Northport, Florida. And just remind us how old you are. Ten. Well, you know what? All the young kids on the show this year are literally killing it. You had a great first audition. We're all rooting for you. Good luck, and I hope the next three minutes changes your life. Thank you. Tell 
just the fact that from a child comes an honesty yeah. and a truth. I mean, it's, it's, I, I feel like I'm a witness to something extremely special. At some point in my career, people will say, uh, what do you remember most? Uh, I remember hitting the golden buzzer. <laughs> The choir I started about four years ago for people experiencing homelessness in San Diego. Oh, oh wow. Yes. What wow. an amazing idea. Listen to the sound. Of the Searching, restless arms reaching. Wow. Our battles going down oh. with chaos all around. And the mother reassures herself everything will be all right as she steps in rhythm to the sounds of the sidewalk. in a world at the moment there is so much talking but you've actually made something happen simon 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 i gotta stop you right now okay oh, you said there's nothing but talk going on yep but it's time to make something happen right now yeah. for everybody on this stage <laughs> what they did today has moved me to this point right now
You are, you are so likable, so humble, bearing in mind you've got this, um, you must have great friends. <laughs> yeah. Great parents. But yeah. sometimes I do get bullied, so. Do you? Yeah. Oh. Okay, well, you know, we hear this, unfortunately, a lot, but there's one way you, you win over bullies. It's by being happy and successful. What did you think, Sophia? It was amazing. It was breathtaking. You're 10 years old. That's impossible to sing like that at 10 years old. And you know what? Let's see who is going to bully you after this. Who are you here with today? <laughs> My son, Jeremiah. We just was that him. your was son? That yes. I know, he was just here. Come here, baby. Go to my. This to change my life, and as you can see, I'm a single mom, and I was living in my vehicle while pregnant. Wait, and wait, wait! Homeless? You're yes. living in your car? Oh, I was God. before I gave birth to my son, and um, this will change my life by putting us in a home, my own home. Okay. Christina, can I hear your second song as well, please? Oh. Would you be okay with that? Yeah. Good. Are you ready for this right now? I'm ready. Are you ready 
Waffle Crew, we go by We Are Family for Life Entertainment, and we are a crew for all the way from New York City to Bronx, New York. Oh. It's, it's about our culture, our city, our family, our family back home that's watching right now. And we understand that there's like a million dollars at stake right now. We already invest in our community with just as little as our pocket money. So a million dollars right now, we will really, really put on for our city. Good for you. Something about your energy from the second you came on and your determination is everything. This was, I think, my favorite audition so far. And I also understand how important This is to you. I want to give you a little head start here. For a living, uh, for a living, I I work at a high school and a college, but I also run poetry workshops with youth in my city. Oh, well, that's wow. wonderful! Yeah. Wow. Yes, I'm actually the first spoken word artist that you guys are ever going to have hit this stage. So I'm super excited to bring poetry to y'all. What is this one about? So tonight's poem is actually a, an ode to my sister. Are you close to your sister? Very much. She's here with me now. Oh, she's back backstage. Kind of. <laughs> well, we already love you. Make us love your poem. Beautiful, I got you for that. I have two facts for you. One, I'm six feet tall, 
And two, love is the most vulnerable thing one will ever have. And you must learn to hold on to it loosely so when it leaves, it won't exit so painfully. On July 14th, 1996, an angel was brought to this earth. Her name, Danielle Marie Gibson, but I only know her as Puff. Her smile is as wide as the universe. Her eyes, they glimmer like the star. She is my world and my sister. I, just four years old at the time, learned what it meant to love selflessly for on days in which my strength was but knee high, seeing her smiling face would make my soul fly. But on March 23rd, 1997, I've been groundbound because she left Earth to go back home amongst the stars, right next to God, but I was left here to manufacture wings out of tears and broken dreams, yet I'm still haunted by these nightmares because I have a really creative mind. And sometimes it designs these alternate realities where she is still here, still alive, and all the things I wish we could have done are played again and again and again, and I'm tired of playing God because I got to come to terms with the fact that my sister ain't never coming back. And that's the cost of love, caring for someone so much that you can't imagine living life without them, staring at a grave like, how about I trade my six feet for yours, but that's not real. And I know I said earlier to hold on to love loosely, so when it leaves, it won't exit so painfully, but if this pain and these memories are all that I got left of you, I won't never regret these scars from just trying to hold on to you. Wow. It is a wow. My brother passed away the same year that your sister passed away. Man. Yeah, I can feel your pain. I know what this is. I know what it is to have somebody taken from you without you knowing. But it was very beautiful for me. It's amazing to me that on season 15, it's the first time that we're hearing somebody of spoken word. There was something more raw in the way it's like singing and talking and just being a human a cappella. No music, no nothing, just a raw heart beating in front of us. We feel your pain, we feel your love, and you moved me to do this. They speak of a better place. They speak of kingdom. So we are the Northwell Health Nurse Choir, and we're here to sing for you today. We're part of the largest health system in New York, and we're 18 nurses of 18,000 nurses. Wow!
what a perfect song. Stand by me. You stand by people you don't know. You watch horror and you watch strength. And I thought, I just want to stand by you. And I want to stand by you over here. You know why I want to stand for you? Blessed day. So that I can do this. I think to myself, oh, what a wonderful world. Jane, when I sing, I go by Nightbird. What are you going to be singing for us tonight? I'm singing an original song called It's Okay. And what do you do for a living? Um, I have not been working for quite a few years. I've been dealing with cancer. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, it's okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. All right. Can, can I ask you a question? How are you now? Uh, last time I checked, I had some cancer in my lungs, my spine, and my liver. Wow. So you're not okay? Uh, well, not in every way, no. I moved to California in the summertime I changed my name thinking that it would change my mind They would stay behind I was a stick of dynamite And it just was a matter of time Yeah Something about that song after the way you just almost casually told us what you're going through and oh, you know you can't wait until life isn't hard anymore before you decide to be happy um There are, however, there have been some great singers this year. Um, and I'm not going to give you a yes. I'm going to give you something else.
really special. Look at you. Look at you. Why America's Got Talent? Actually, the, uh, we are invited to perform at the Olympics. Really? Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, we cannot do it due to COVID. So you could say you chose us over the Olympics. Yes. That's correct. Tell me, what's your day job? Uh, right now, I teach online kids' music. Yeah. So you're a singer? Yes, it's good. I hope so. <laughs> okay. Well, the stage is yours. The sun will come out tomorrow But your bottom dollar
when I'm stuck with the day that's gray and lonely. I just stick out my chin and grin and say, Wow. say that I didn't like it that much. No. What is going on today? But, but I loved it. It's from my own show in Las Vegas. <laughs> what does it mean for you to be here? It means um, everything. incredible and flawless. I mean, you know how much I love fashion. And I feel like we've never really had anyone that is as good as you. No. So I feel like you should go straight to the live shows. What do you think?
would you do if you won the million dollars? Buy Simon a rainbow shirt that has glitter on it. Oh, I love that. Wow. Like that. Do you think I need a rainbow shirt? You need some color. Are you going to, you're going to sing? Yes. I just want to talk to Terry for one moment. Terry, let me ask you a question. How would you feel if we were to do something different this year? I just... How do you feel about travel? Yeah, a hundred percent. Look, victory, uh, as I said, you know, turning up, you know, in terms of your career is really important. However, um, we're not going to give you a yes today. We're going to do something else we've never, ever, ever done on the show before. We are all going to give you something special. Five, four, three, two, one. school nickname was Hammerhead because what? I had these knots on my head because I'm premature. I was born at one pound, eight ounces. Whoa. And my vocal cords don't close all the way. So it made my voice sound really airy. Right. Students were so negative about my voice. One called me frog and she'd get the class in on the joke. And it was relentless. And I actually, I was so in such a dark place. I actually wanted to commit suicide. Oh. Wow. That's when I started actually learning how to play.
Avery Dixon. You touch the heart of every human being in this building right now. And I want to tell you, man, you've been bullied all your life, but you tell every bully that you have a big brother named Terry Crews, who is here, who's got your back. And all those bullies are going to have to watch you succeed, my friend. Last one, last one, you. Come here, stand up. How you doing? What are you gonna see for us? I don't care, just do it. Are you ready for me? You ready for me? Here we go. You better sing, Tommy. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Is this the first time you've been at a taping? No, I've been to many tapings, and ever since I was four years old, I would always try and sing for the commercial breaks, and it's always been my dream to be on the show. And I'm finally here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just kind of freaking out right now. Aw, that's so cute! Oh, yes. What's your name? My name is Sarah. Where are you from, Sarah? I'm from Poland. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> How old are you, Sarah? Um, I'm 13. 13? Oh my God! What?
but you never go away So I guess I gotta stay now singers over the years but wow there are those moments where yes. I mean this wasn't perfect however you have a real star glow about you so much wow thank you I appreciate so, it is this your first time to America yeah that's true it must be such an unbelievable feeling doing this in front of an American audience because yeah. I'm guessing this is probably where you dreamt of performing. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I can remember when I came to America for the first time, and that was 20 odd years ago. And that was a moment I'll never forget. And I want to make this a moment for you to remember forever. Oh! Mayas. Being a dancer as a female Arab uh, is not fully supported yet.
what we were feeling over here. Thank you. It was the most beautiful, creative dancing I've ever seen. I would be so honored to empower you even more in this journey because you deserve it. And I want to be part of this. Songwriter. Okay, and how old are you? I'm 27. And what makes you different from all the thousands of other people trying to get, you know, noticed at the moment? The song I'm going to do today is an original song that I wrote, and it's called Daydream. I wrote it at a time in my life when things were really beautiful. Then my life flipped upside down, and my mom was diagnosed with cancer, and I became her full-time caretaker. I lost my record deal during that, but I think maybe it was a bit of a blessing because it gave me some extra time to really be there for her. Well, is she okay? No, she passed away. I'm sorry, Lily. <laughs> Like sometimes you have someone on the stage and you hear their voice and just everything about you, you just light up. I see a light around you and I don't know, I like immediately I fell in love with you. And for this season, season 17, I was like, there's always a lot of singers on the stage and I was like, I want to give someone else a shot, but I can't help it because I really, really like you. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to push this button buzzer for you. in a small community called Hearts Chapel. It's the name, it's named after our family because there's way too many of us. Okay, so how do you know each other? 
So Danica and I are sisters, and Tree is our first cousin. Uh, we were so inspired by the song Jolene, and we just loved the storyline. And we figured, though, from 1973 to 2022, we could not still be fighting over the same man. Absolutely so not. We no. decided to tell her, you can just have him, Jolene. <laughs> A lot of beer, a lot of wine I spent so much time believing That that midnight phone stopped ringing But he'd leave the room and answer every time Well, it didn't seem so easy With that broken glass and pieces You holding me and saying you were wrong Well, I'm tired of second chances He sat sad, sad circumstances He's your problem, good Till rivers turn to seas If I hadn't used my golden buzzer, I would give you a golden buzzer. Me too! You can give it a try if you want. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Hi, my name is Vanessa, and I'm from South Pasadena. My question for Simon is, what animal do you think you look like the most? I think it's a lemur. And I remember seeing a nature program once and I thought, that actually looks like me. Sophia, the chihuahua that you posted this morning on your Instagram story, is that yours? And do you have more? I have two chihuahuas in my life. One is my son, and the other one was supposed to be my dog, but she hates me and loves my husband, and she's a very bad dog. And we have a question for Heidi. I would love to know what her most embarrassing moment is. I have four children, and I would say to them, everything I do is embarrassing. What do you do when you get nervous? Instead of calling it nerves, what I do is call it excitement. Please welcome your house. And I use those nerves to bring me energy. Terry
I got it. That is Heidi having lunch. Feel it's Heidi chewing something? Heidi chewing chips. Sounds like a hamster is eating something. Oh my gosh, it's the guy crushing the nuts with his butt cheeks. Mr. Cherry, I love him. <laughs> it was hard. It really hurt. Hey, Heidi. Your hand binoculars are ridiculous. Stop it. You don't understand. They're not binoculars. Yes, they are. No, but it does. It takes the light outside from the outside, sense. and it gets darker around, and then I can actually see better. I need to my focus glasses. into some parts yes, sometimes. Exactly. So it's not it so bright. Because when it's so bright, I can't see what they're doing, and I need to judge. So my family and I are watching AGT, and my dad says, is Beyonce always on this? It's Tyra Banks. Or is it? Blue Ivy, Blue Ivy, sit down right now. Mama gotta host this show, Blue. AGT made Simon Cowell so soft. <laughs> yes, for me. I'm on Simon the Savage back. The one who crushed dreams and made people cry for fun. <laughs> off. <laughs> Password is magic. Did you just look? No. Not at the. Are no. you guys talking? No. <laughs> Freak. Magic. Yeah! Yes! Yes! Magic is the correct <laughs> word. <laughs> that is cheating. You heard him tell me the word. That's that cheating. That means that you were cheating already. <laughs> They're Hit cheating him, because they heard you cheated. Yes. All right, All right. Nice. this is the I'm final sweating. clue. The we clue? are actually tied at the moment, <laughs> and we are going to start with Howie. The okay. password is... Ready? Million. Dollars. <laughs> million. Oh! He's right! Thank That's you very it. much. Where's the check? Where's the check? Word do you think he's thinking of, and vice versa? What do you think Howie is thinking of? One word. And when I count to three, you're gonna say that word out loud. Clear your mind. Okay. This is a mind reading technique to show that you guys are in perfect sync. Okay. okay. Read her mind. Three, two, one. Yes! <laughs> Earring and shoe. <laughs> Look each other deeply in the eyes, deeply. Three, two, one. Not much. Look at each other deeply. Understand each other. Three, two, one. Lipstick! <laughs> this is freaky! Lipstick! Feel the power. Word, you have it? Yeah, yeah, have it. I got it. Three, <laughs> two, one. Handsome. handsome. What? Did y'all say handsome? Handsome! That was not, by the way. This is crazy. I handsome. swear on my life, that was not prep. <laughs> I didn't plan that. We got studied what profession for three years? I know what it was. Dentistry, because she has amazing teeth. She's gonna be a dentist. You wanna know why I know that? They don't show this backstage she will actually floss my teeth. Imagine if you turn up and guess who's your dentist, Sofia Vergara. That sounds so sexy. <laughs> It'd be like, you know what, I'll have a filling out a week. How many Emmys have I been nominated for? I'm gonna say seven. Two Emmys. Seven times, let's just go for the seven. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm guessing, I don't know. Four. <clears throat> You didn't let me finish. I was gonna say two times two. Well, she should have got more. The competition was brutal. The, and, and last night, we had the highest of highs and then some incredible, for me, personal disappointments. And we are here, and we are all paid to be honest. I am brutally honest. That's why it was brutal. Good luck to everyone. But you sometimes are also grumpy. I'm not grumpy. Yeah, okay. And also, I'm, I'm translating. Yeah. She said grumpy. Well, you they know what? Me. This is a good sign. 
Listen, Sophia, a lot of the judges, you guys disagreed on a lot of the acts last night. Why do you think that was? Um, well, we, well, first of all, we have different tastes, and... We, we all have the same taste. Some of them don't know what they... <laughs> what they... what they're supposed to know. Uh, I know everything grumpy? we know. <laughs> how is grumpy sometimes, and Simon is sometimes loco, so if there's nothing... Well, I admit it. I do admit it. <laughs> Welcome to Buzzer Buddy. Howie, if you were cleaning out Simon's closet, what would you throw away first? If I was cleaning out Simon's uh, closet... You've got very minimal choices here, because he wears the same thing. Yes. Oh, it's, uh, it's between the white T-shirt <laughs> and the white dress shirt. And, or the bell-bottom pants. The white T-shirt. The white Simon everything. <laughs> Oh, that is everything. It. You know what? <laughs> I am going to give you that point. That is everything. I am giving you that point. What do you think, audience? They deserve that point. That's pretty much all that Simon wears. Sophia. You, you did so much magic in two and a half minutes that I don't even know what I was seeing. You made me believe in magic. This is amazing. This was better than your audition, and I really want to know what Simon thinks. Simon, did he win you over? I think I helped you. No! I do. I really, really do. I think Imagine that... Simon. No, by me saying no at the auditions, I think has pushed you to be a better magician. <laughs> and I'm very happy to say on live television, I am officially an idiot. Yeah! No! Howie! <laughs> You know, we, I, I want to say this from, from my heart here. Uh, what you have done for the show, and as a friend, as one of the most amazing people I've ever worked with, oh, wow. I wanted to pay you a tribute to show your significance, and most importantly, your importance for the 10 years you've been on the show. Over to you, Terry. Sunset Boulevard. Okay, let's take what? a look. Here Sunset we go. Boulevard. Count it down with me, people. Where am I looking? Five, four, three, two, one. You touch the heart of every human being in this building right now. And I want to tell you, man, you've been bullied all your life, but you tell every bully that you have a big brother named Terry Crews, who is here, who's got your back. And all those bullies are going to have to watch you succeed, my friend. The miracle of this whole story, his mother saw how talented he was and she submitted his audition to America's Got Talent. I like being surprised and I'm really, really curious to see after what everyone went through in 2020, what it's gonna be like in 2021. It's really hard to explain. It's something that suddenly moves you, that suddenly you think that there's uh, nothing that is gonna compare to it, or it's something that maybe you think it's worth of people seeing it becoming, you know, better and better through the competition. When it calls me, it just calls me. There, there, there have been certain things that I was like, uh, 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 and it's like, no, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. And hopefully it will be, you know, a variety act, like something different, because I would just love, you know, for someone else to have a shot this time. Surprise me. Surprise me. We're gonna see some special moments this year. And I have a good feeling about this. Hi everybody, this is Maddie, and I just got the golden buzzer from Howie Mandel. I am the biggest fan there could be of America's Got Talent, and here I am. <laughs> Without the judges knowing, we asked Maddie to sit in the audience. Let's see if they notice her. Okay, we're coming back from break in one minute, one minute. I need to get some air or something. All right, we got a hot minute, so. I'm gonna try to find some oh, 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 oh. audience. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, you come over here. Stand up. How you doing? 
What are you going to sing for us? I don't care. Just do it. Are you ready for me? You ready for me? Here we go. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. My mind was blown and I was just so happy. And I'm going to the live shows. Always trying to change my two tens, that's a paradigm. A paradigms, I probably go see ya. Paradigms like Heidi and Sophia. I'm a showman, so allow me to show you how I'm good with the jokes like Howie. Doing this for Simon so the world might hear me. Cruise to the top and get jacked like Terry. So, whether you were born a jack, a queen, or an ace, or raised as a diamond, joke, a spade, or an eight. Simon said he was a little mad at me because I have an audition before. Uh, I think that it was just the good timing. Um, a couple years ago, maybe I didn't feel ready or something, but I'm so glad I'm here now. Thank you so much, everyone. I cannot wait to show you what I have planned for round two. Tune in. Hi, everyone. My name is Sarah James, and I'm 13 years old, and I'm from Poland. <laughs> We've heard a lot of singers over the years, but wow, you have a real star glow about you. Thank you so much. Wow. Simon said that I have a star pump. It's amazing. I just like, ah, Simon said it. You know, it's crazy. It must be such an unbelievable feeling doing this in front of an American audience, because yeah. I'm guessing this is probably where you dreamt of performing. Mm -hmm. And I can remember when I came to America for the first time, and that was 20 odd years ago. And that was a moment I'll never forget. And I want to make this a moment for you to remember forever. Simon, thank you so much for the opportunity that I'm, you know, even here, and you know, it's just like amazing. Thank you so, 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 so much. You know, I'm not gonna let you down. I hope you're gonna be proud of me and everyone. In America. <laughs> I would be so honored to empower you even more in this journey because you deserve it. And I want to be part of this. This was our only chance to prove that us Arab women are capable of doing what we did today. And it's amazing because I know that this today is going to inspire a lot of women, a lot of Arab women especially. And it's, <laughs> I'm just grateful and we're just grateful that we are able to do that today on America's Got Talent. I'm crying. I'm actually crying. Who's funnier? Oh. Nobody. Makeup. I want to need some makeup. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Julian? Oh, there you are. I'm <laughs> Julianne. Hi, Hi. I'm so excited to be here. Oh I'm so gosh. excited. I'm such a fan. Hey, preacher. Hey. How you doing? Doing amazing. Well, I just cannot wait to perform with you tonight. Me neither. All right. See you there. All right. It's going to be great. Preacher, do you need a minute? Can I introduce you to Mr. Grumpy? I haven't. Hey, you want to wow. meet him? Yes. This is Mr. Grumpy. Oh my gosh, Mr. Grumpy. Hi, Mr. Grumpy. It's so nice to meet you. Oh, hi, Darcy. Hi, Sophia. I wow. haven't seen you in a long time. You look beautiful. You look young every day. So how how long have you how long have you been doing it? Oh, I've done it for 11, 11 you, can years. Can you Wow, it's amazing. Mr. Grumpy would get along well with my friend Edna. Edna, Edna, where are you? Hi. Oh, oh, hi, Edna. You are very old. What? You're very old. What? Old. Hello, darlings. Sophia, I don't just like Edna. I love Edna. You're moving. I can do this, too. He's moving his lips. OK, Darcy, check your mirrors Checking. before. 
Any moment. I can't see myself anymore. Safety first. There's a lot of dummies on the road. And the biggest one is talking into a megaphone. Take your foot off the brake and start moving toward the course. Take moving. your foot off the... Stop! 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 Oh, sorry, little Stop. friend. Back up. I want you to start from the top. Forwards. Forward slow. Forward. Stop. Back up. Uh, Forward. Uh, you just pulled back. me back. OK. Stop. You are going now the average speed during rush hour on an LA freeway. So without moving, I want you to sit here now for two and a half hours. This is pretty realistic. Our live show in Vegas is really cool. We get to reunite with all the other performers. It's a bunch of sweethearts out here. Since AGT. So much stuff has happened ever since. I went on Ellen, I got to go on Jimmy Fallon. After AGT, it's sold out crowds now. It's a bit more exciting performing here because you're not getting judged. You can just have fun. Vicky's been so much so nice to me and she kind of took care of me in America's Got Talent. And I love Courtney so much. I feel like I'm Courtney's aunt, her, her uh, mischievous aunt. Especially you, handsome. I never thought that I'd be on America's Got Talent. It's just unbelievable. Our son, we came on the show to create an environment to where we can raise him ourselves. You know, before I would never actually speak at all. I would always do my magic silently. It's, it's changed my life, my family's life. It's truly a blessing.